Welcome to Fate Tactics, the girl who destroyed the world. This is a tactical RPG and a pretty good one for uh, pretty unique reasons. So we play a lot of tactical RPGs in the past, especially me if you watch me on stream or here uh, on YouTube. I I played, you know, I played Felseal, I played uh, I Gears Tactics, I played Mario Rabbids, I played a number of games of Tactics games recently, and it's purely because I just picked up I picked up uh, Mario Rabbids one day and fell in love with the genre, knowing that it existed, knowing that it existed. We play tons of these games now, uh, and I love them. I love them so. Tiny bit of bias in that regard, but what I will say is this game is unique because, because I uh, well not necessarily because of the art style because it does look a little like Fell Seal in terms of the uh, uh, the color palettes and some of the textures and designs and all that, but the characters are pretty unique. Uh, are pretty, sorry, pretty um, uh, cute and uh, interesting looking because they go the Pokemon routes for uh, a lot of the mobs that you summon. Um, but what I like about this game versus, and actually what I'll do here is, we're gonna get out of here, this is a right in mobile fight. Um, I'm gonna go in back out of this. Yeah, yeah start the battle, sure. <laughs> start the battle, then leave. Dun, dun, dun. No, you, you ruin, you're ruining my whole setup here. There we go, different weather, yep, we're gonna go back. Let me see, to the map. Oh yeah, alright, cool. So, what I like about this game is everything is contextual. Uh, if you look at a game like Fell Seal or Final Fantasy Tactics, a lot of the stuff that you do is menu driven. Uh, you have a ton of stuff to manage and all this. And it, just, it just feels like it's a lot of like admin stuff, and I actually enjoy that. I, I actually, to this day, right now, I am still playing Fell Seal almost every single night on my Switch. Uh, however, I just realized that this game is also available on Switch, so I might pick it up. Um, the nice thing about Fell Seal, though, in this, <laughs> in terms of playing it late at night, is that it plays itself if you set the AI to play for you. So it's kind of cool. You just basically manage. It's like uh, it's it's just um, Adventurer Manager 2020 is basically what it turns out to be. So everything here is contextual, so it plays a little bit more like uh, Mario Rabbids. Uh, it just actually like fewer buttons. <laughs> Your A button basically does everything. What we're gonna do. Is we're gonna do a dusty road here, which is gonna give us just a just a regular free battle. Uh, I don't know what to expect on these. Actually, I've done a free battle yet, but you can see I already done, I've already done a lot of the story. I don't want to necessarily unveil any more for you guys. So here we go, regular old battle. <laughs> this is perfect too with my uh, uh, with my party because my party, uh, one of my characters is really good in the water. The one with the water symbol overhead. So this is the first thing I do when you get in. You're gonna go and take a look around at everything. And you're gonna say, okay, I see a lot of wind, I see some water, I see one earth, just one earth, but it's a boss, so I might want to take it into consideration. So wind and water, then, okay, what, what's gonna fight wind and water? Let's go and open this up. Now, most of these things are gonna be the, the same across all genres, right? Water puts out fire. Big shocker, okay? Fire melts ice. Whoa, okay? <laughs> some of them maybe, you know, win, like wind with water, I guess, you know, maybe turns it into a mist or something, I don't know. Uh, ice destroys earth. I, I guess the Ice Age, you know what they all do make sense, they really do. Uh, on my characters I have uh, one water, one arcane, and one just straight melee, I guess. Um, so what I want to see is what's, what's going to work best against wind. So look over here and it says earth, okay cool, keep that in mind. I need earth, and uh, what's the other one, water? Uh, so that's going to be, um, well sorry, wind, and then uh, fire. So wind and fire is what we're going to focus on for this. So we go to our party. We only have the three characters, so we're gonna just stick with them. Um, they have traits, let's go to the traits. We maybe wanna say, uh, you know, she's more offensive build, so a glass cannon build. Uh, she has a one and move jump, but let's say maybe I want more mobility because there is there are some tall hills here. I could back this up here and then go and dump them into here and give her more move slash jump, which actually might come in really handy. Um, hmm, I think I might do that because she does need, her mobility comes in super handy because she can cloak people. Uh, I have this up here as well where I could go and change this to give more health, uh, drain, you know, drain some mana uh, on hits and accuracy and plus one teamwork. Hmm, friendship score is, oh, hold on a second, is that going to give me, I wonder if it's, I don't know what that would do actually, so I'm not going to risk it. But anyways, you pick these up as you play, they just drop while you're actually in the match and fighting somebody, they'll just drop, you stand on top of them and then you get the thing. Let's go ahead and give her, see, drain, she's not going to be casting a lot necessarily. I'm not worried about accuracy. Um, let's go ahead and give her the 20 base HP. That's good. Good, good, good standard. See, evade. We want him to have evasion. Uh, see, minus five defense on hit. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, he, this guy's basically our protector. And then this was this is our not our damage dealer, but in this case, she's perfect for it because Paya goes in water and gets a, an insane boost in her damage output. So Paya's gonna go in the water. 
Let me see. And it'll give her some accuracy, too. Just make... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is going to be so good. <laughs> this is going to be so great. Uh, just totally flipping these characters. I like it. I like it. But that's the beauty is I can go through and just assign these things whenever I want. Yeah, just, just change things up a little bit just because I can. Uh, so what do we say we're going to get? We're going to get... Uh, what was it? Earth and wind. No, 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 no. Fire. No. Oh, hold on a second. See, see. Earth. See, it was water and wind. So, uh, yeah. Wind and... Oh, I was right the first time. Okay. Earth and wind. Well, let me see. We go to summons. This is your, uh, your 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 Pokemon, for example, right? You just uh, you, you walk into battle and you spawn them. Uh, we want wind and let's see Earth. There's Earth one here. What is this guy? Wind. We'll keep him. Uh, this guy is also wind. So let's go ahead and ditch. Uh, actually, this one has a pretty good combo with some of your other characters. This they synergize pretty well. Um, oh, but you know that's one. Hmm, the capacity. It's two capacity. Can we find a? There's a fire here too. Ooh, oh, that's a two. Let me see. Or, I don't know what, what fire, what the hell. Thankfully, thankfully you, could, you could check this pretty quickly. <laughs> Especially when it's like midnight and a half and you're trying to do this. Uh, let's see, wind and earth. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, earth, it's one. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Yeah, it's the one. Cool. I didn't know I had any ones left on that. Let's see, spells. These are summoner spells. You uh, They unlock over a number of rounds. And they have an independent cooldown to any of your characters, so you can use them whenever you want. But they are attached to your main character, so if your main character is in a down state, uh, or rather is uh, kicked off the map, um, then you can use them. Uh, so in our case, we want to replace, we want to get, uh, what was it, wind? <laughs> we want to get wind uh, in here, uh, which is actually, it's already in there, so great, we'll put wind in there. And then we have, we have haste, well I do like haste, and we have heal. So what else do we have? We have a max HP of a single unit. Oh, cooldown five rounds. Oh man, just straight up max HP of a unit. Wow, oh, that might be really handy. But, 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 regenerates. Yeah, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. I mean, it's so easy to try to just go through and just get everything. <laughs> just try to like min-max this thing. Alright, here we go. Boom, we're gonna summon our summons. Uh, weather effects. Yep, we're gonna talk about that. So this is rain. So what was it with rain? Damn, I should have read that. Uh, see, from now on, actually, it tells you at the top. I'll show you. From now on, bonus experience spare parts are awarded for winning a battle without any of your units being defeated. Got it. So right there at the top, right next to where it says round one, low to the left of the center, uh, it says it's raining, which means plus damage with water, plus damage with lightning. Uh, we do have any lightning stuff, but uh, we do have Paya again, who's gonna be just an absolute monster. So. Left hand side is our spells, upper right corner is all the information for whoever you're selecting here. It, it remembers the last person you clicked. Uh, it says here that you're going to correct this person if you go and, and uh, hit them, which is nice. It tells you what it's going to do, right? Uh, bottom left corner is order. So if I wanted to, for whatever reason, I could hold down left bumper and then I can delay this unit's turn. Or I could go and look at the other units on the map like this and move it around. Um, if I want more information on things, like for example, this character has uh, a few abilities here. You can see it has a buff, and the buff it says True Sight and Chant. Attacks cannot be evaded. Can can target cloaked units and immune to blind. So wait skill, wrath. So we're going to get all these when we play. We're not going to go through every single one. Uh, so the, when I say contextual, I mean like, yeah, when I click on an enemy with the A button, it's going to help the enemy, right? If I click on myself with the A button, what does it do? Uh, wrath. And so wrath was what? Wrath was uh, plus three attack for the duration of battle. If I hit the A button on, an, on, a, on a, uh, another character, I get haste. I give them haste. You already know what haste is. Uh, I don't need to explain that. So everything is contextual. And I use basically one button, which makes it a really good just chilling on the couch game. <laughs> so, which are my favorite now, even though I haven't done that in so long. Also, they have piercing, so I can hit through the enemy that I'm targeting and, uh, as you saw, uh, do damage to the other side. And a sweep ability. The owl is pretty dope. It really, truly is. And then, of course, it gives us a plus three, and then it's just the, just, just the best for the rest of the match. Uh, the dog here has the ability to be a protector. Uh, so we're actually going to go ahead and do that. Do that, and then let him wait there. And once you spend your ac action points... Uh, you don't get any more movement points. Like, once you use your ability, you can't, like, move after that. You have to move and then use your ability. Which is, every game does it a little bit differently. Sometimes you can get an attack in and then reposition yourself. I feel like that must be more difficult to, uh, balance with, though. Alright, so Peony's turn. Mira, Peony, we hooked up. We hooked up her, uh, traits. Uh, and reversed her a little bit. So she's supposed to be doing more... Not necessarily damage, but we're gonna get her out here anyways. Do some more work, so... Bird's Eye, 25% right there at the cursor. That means that I am above him by a certain amount, enough to give me a 25% damage boost. Notice also that uh, Chico, the dog, didn't attack as well. That's the, uh, the passive assist. So whenever you hit somebody, then if you have another 
uh, if it's a compatible character, to uh, contribute to the damage, then they will. Let's go and scoot this up. And we'll just go and bomb this guy here. Look at that, you see? And they do the, uh, do the little combo, little one-two punch. It's beautiful. All right, this guy. What is this guy's ability again? Let me see. 50% uh, chance of curse with blind. Awesome. Reinforce. And then uh, architects. And, uh, so that, okay. So they do range if I need to, which is great. We'll get rid of this guy. We're just going to, like, cleave through this. Look at all these scrolls we're getting. See, I told you you guys get these in play, like, all the time. It's ridiculous. And that was a huge damage. Bird's eye 100% right there. It plays very arcadey, uh, which is which is obviously totally fine. Uh, but like everything is super big, <laughs> which is like, yeah, this would be perfect on the Switch because the screen is so damn small. Okay, uh, we're trying to get Pi into the water. Once Pi gets into the water, wa it's just basically unstoppable. Um, but we should clear up as many things as we can here. Actually, let's go and pick some stuff up here, Aquatic Scroll, and you could just get a little self bonus there, plus three attack. Or bring up the scrolls. Woo! Slash! Notice the dog took the damage, not Paya. See, they already know my plan. They're like, we can't let Paya get to the water! These guys can do the business over here. Now, notice they're breathing, like, erratically. It's because I have the... Oh! They moved it! Uh, at battle speed, there you go. At a battle speed of two. Uh, one is fine, but... We're, 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 on, we're on a time limit here, right? We're trying to do some work. All right, here we go, Chico again. Uh, Chico guys should wrap around, do some work with this. There we go. Everybody already has a uh, their bonus, their defense bonus. Let's see, bird's eye. Hmm. Let's get to the other side here just to be safe, because I don't want that guy bombing me from the top. Does that hurt? Giving each other cloaks. This guy's reinforcing himself. Paya. Oh, Paya, Paya, Paya. Come on. Can't do anything yet. It's fine. Just wait. Be blessed. Be blessed. Notice that on Paya, there are uh, some arrows moving up. It just means that she's now getting a buff. It's like regen regenerating health or something. Um, basically, just in there getting swole by herself. Let's see. Let's go get this uh, Runus scroll. Bonding is his power. Okay. So what do we got here? The owl. Our spells are ready. Uh, let's go ahead and use uh, the one that we can't use. Let's go ahead and use this one. We want to use these things to put them on cooldown. They're not all the time, but uh, uh, Paya is not in a position to do anything. We still have another round left, anyways, for the next one. So in this round, we get to choose. It's going to be haste or it's going to be health. We don't need health. Now we don't need health, so we're going to go with haste, and we're going to give it to Paya. We want Paya to be able to move around the map a little more quickly. In the lower left corner, you may not have noticed, but she moved up as well in her position. So it also affects that. Uh, this owl is just out of reach to do anything useful. Let's put him over here. Is that range? No, okay, good. Now you can see, oh, he got close, yep. You can see, oh man, oh, thank God. Ah, oh, jeez. So you can see how far somebody can attack uh, if you hold down right trigger. It'll show where they can attack. Oh, excuse me. Good lord. Good lord, let me get some water. Man. There are some uh, fires here in California. <clears throat> and our windows are open. Um, maybe a little bit too early, actually. How funny! I, as I'm speaking, like, I'm noticing that my my voice is uh, starting to get a little. Uh, it, the fires aren't bad and like super super bad right now. They've actually kind of cleared up a little, uh, but they were really close for a, like like scary 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 close. Uh, um, so yeah, definitely feel like I'm uh, I'm ingesting a little bit too much ash here. <laughs> Let me see. I'll close the window after we're done. Let me get in here and do some cleaning here. Is he gonna do much? Not too much, but we'll be able to still clean up some here. And then, let me see. Now Paya. I'm oh, sorry, uh, uh, Kyoni. I'm trying to build up to get the, um, our special ability here. Which is gonna happen, eventually. She has to take damage to do damage. Paya, 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 here we go. Oh, that's hella weak! Oh, it's so weak! There we go, lucky. It'll just do damage that we didn't really, yeah. <laughs> Ugh, Paya let me down. It's supposed to be more damage than that. Oh gosh, it's so loud. 
Anyways, yeah, so the fires were really, really close to where I where I where I'm at, and um man, it was just uh so ashy and smoky outside. I didn't even walk donut. I was like, I could wear I could wear a mask, but it's so ashy I don't even want to walk donut out there. Like if I have to wear a mask, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put the dog out like that. It's messed up. Let's see, get some health. <clears throat> we do have a lot of stuff ready. Let's go ahead and use our this right here. This is actually perfect. Do some good cleanup. Oh, actually, we do clean up here because we got this guy. Uh, oh, it's not gonna hit him because he's flying out there. Yeah, it's sad. Um, let me see what we'll do this guy. Basically nothing. Cool. So it's gonna be you. Just put it here just in case. Ah, oh, dang it. Doesn't do damage to your own character though. Perfect. Now you can finish him off, and we'll do that from the water. Just to kind of get out of the way. Nice. Oh, there's so much loot on the ground. Oh, did he just pick that up? Boy! Okay. Can he keep defending himself up here? He's got, like, no health. I feel like he's gonna get, he's gonna get sacked by this boss here in a second. <clears throat> That's another summon, by the way. Now, he's using spells against... Oh, I walked into that. Yes, of course he has those spells. And he comes over and just dunks on him. No! Okay, Peony. This is your moment. You can do basically nothing. <laughs> Her ultra is what? Ultra's almost charged. Almost charged. I can't wait to show you guys that. Uh, can't reach that. And that's just for like some health sum. So we'll go ahead and just do this. So ultra's ready. So the next attack, you're going to see their ultra. Um, let me see. You can take you out or do... Okay, 31 damage there. Or 21 damage, not take him out. Or 24 damage with more defense. Uh, I see weak. anti is weak to this. Let's go ahead and use this. Ooh, do you want to get that close though? Can you? Let me see. You should be able to get here and get it. Yeah, without moving. Oh, oh my God! It. I thought it was weak to it. Did I read that wrong? I probably read that wrong. I said it was anti-air, but that's that doesn't make any sense from the context. Whatever. Fifty damage. One hundred percent evade. Bling, bling, bling. You definitely want to do this, right? No. Nope, so we're gonna go ahead and give somebody a buff or boost. Uh, this guy's making a moves here. I'm kinda worried. Let's go over here. We can give her a barrier. There you go, you see it on her health bar there? Okay. Nice. Purpose. Actually perfect. Um, let's see. Left flank, powerful bite the heals for a portion of damage. Oh, his, uh, ultra up? No. Left flank. Yeah, let's do that. I wasn't going to do that, but I'm going to do that now. Look at this. Oh, duh. His ultra's up. Blood Fang. Look at that. What did that give him? Dang, just dunking on him. Look at that. Give some health and everything. Uh, let's see. Wish. I uh, see. Oh, wait. Well, I'm looking at the wrong person here. Um, wait. Wish. It increases the evaded crit damage. Oh, did they remove the cloak? Oh, it's her. Um, It's her. Ability. Wow, that's crazy. I can make him. Well, let's go ahead and use the damage because we want to get through this. But still, I didn't realize that it was also contextual with the ultras. The ultras can also buff your allies. So yeah, she does work and he totally resisted and evaded all that. So I should have totally cast it on myself. <sighs> okay. Bye, 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 bye. You can't attack anything. Oh, oh, do, 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 do. that guy's like right there. Oh, I put in the wrong box. Okay. Thank God you could just undo that. We do have something ready here. Does anybody need health? Thankfully, no. Let's focus on this guy. What are you gonna do? He's gonna sit there and just buff himself. Stomp, stomp. And he's gonna dunk on me. One shot! One shot! Okay. You're gonna res... Yeah. Oh, I should've done it from over there to get that uh, gem thing. Who has a currency? Man. Oh, you could have met with Rinka! That's oh, man. 60 crit. Wiped him out again. Woo, lad. I thought this was going to be easy. Yo, I want to show everybody the game real quick. You know, it's no big deal. Uh, it's just getting just dunked on. Thank God I could just res him right now. Get the res, get a full health. Back in the game. Hacks. Let's go ahead and uh, put this on. Yeah, it's basically everybody here. We need that more than just doing a little bit of damage on something. Uh, let's go ahead and clean up. We gotta clean up. You're actually, it's got some pretty good damage, but let's go over here, take care of this. Clean up time, clean up. Also, loot. 
this guy. This next, this next guy is going to be a bit of a pain. Yeah, he's going to be dunking on people from afar. Thank God the dog was there. Jeez. Huh. Now, Paya does get a boost still, so I don't want to... I'm not writing Paya off just because she wasn't doing, like, you know, crazy crits or anything, but... Yeah, we're going to put her right back in. Oh, the water. <laughs> and then, let me see. Cleanse. Nobody has to say needs a cleanse, but... Oh, this means dog guys needs to heal. Jeez. Yeah, I got to give it to him. Just hope I survive. Hope I survive. You are going to do what? It's the last turn on this one. I can't give somebody haste. Let me go and get that now. Oh, I can't because I already used to spell this turn. That's right. Um, what can you do to this? Oh, you can take this right out. Look at this. Done. Get him. What is acorns or whatever he chucks? Now, this guy's going to run over there and try to heal him. Maybe actually res him from afar, just like I did. I'm going to play this here. I'm going to give this to who? Paya. Not you. I want to get her to be able to get, stay mobile, just in case. So we'll get him over here. Uh, actually, no, he'll go get this. On his weight. Boost. And then Pi is going to go over here. Go beat on this guy for a minute. Now, ideally what you want to do is probably beat down the other boss, which I should have done because he's going to try to res him. But I also get a bonus if I keep them both up. So I don't necessarily want to just do that. Um, you just spawn this thing, huh? That's annoying. Um, hmm. I'm trying to do this so I don't have to res this guy. I don't have any options. Let me see. Let's go ahead and res. We'll go over here. Res. See if we can't still do some saving here. I think from here you can bomb this guy. Rest. Yeah, there you go. Roast him. Oh, oh, oh God! Oh, the guy's there! <laughs> wow. If only, if only I would look before I clicked. All right, back. <laughs> get everybody back over here. We gotta keep this guy in a down state. Look at this item. Now, you are gonna barricade him in. Is there somebody there? No, there's not. Okay, so we'll barricade him in this way. Now we're gonna start chipping away at him here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're still ready. Weak. Back to you. There you go. Ryan is back. Back attacks do more damage. Not mention that. But the guy's ultra is ready, so. How are we going to dunk on us? Oh, of course. It's fine. It's fine. You end up playing a little bit of uh, back and forth. Man. Oh, my. Oh, dang. Oh, they're serious now. This time they really want him gone. Uh, but you play a little bit of back and forth of like you tag one, he reses, go back and forth, right? It's kind of annoying, but you can still make it work. Just juggling them. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that combo. Look at that combo. Chico. Chico! Oh, good boy! Good boy. Let's see. Okay. Let's get some heals out. Here we go. Notice that Peony here is the one that cast it. So they do link the they link the summoner spells to her, even though you could use them anytime. Uh alright, Chico. So, my boy. Um these guys don't have buffs anymore. Neither do you. I like to keep you roadblocking these guys in because yeah, actually, you know what we're gonna do that. We're just gonna go for it. Keep this guy locked over here. Unless he can go up and uh, and lower himself down. We'll find out. But we're going to try to do some, uh, some combo stuff here. His turn. Oh, he's going to slam. Ooh. Wow, I just roasted one of my dudes. Damn, one of my summons is gone. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we can... Um, how about we go up here? Wait, actually, wait. Um, we should cleanse. Can he cleanse from up here? No, of course not. Of course not. I want that item, man. Uh, so we're going to stand over here, cleanse this. No, we're not going to do that. Not, not gonna stand. No, no, don't stand there. That's stupid. Over here. I don't want to stand there because he's going to use an ability that's going to have a cross, right? A four-way. And that's going to hurt. So he's not going anywhere. Great. So we're just going to continue doing this. Teamwork, dream work. Oh, I'm gonna use my crazy shit now. I want Soul Nova. Look at that. Dude, this is something. 
But not enough. Not enough. He's getting worried. I can feel it. I can feel it. You're gonna get up here and get this chest. <laughs> Let's see. And then you're gonna stand here and be blessed. Uh, I didn't see what we got. A scroll of some sort. Standard. The other one's a summons though, so I really want to get that. Oh good, he's gonna give me an opportunity to get that. Oh, oh, oh dang. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the game is just like, you know what? <laughs> this bullshit! You didn't, you didn't give us a chance. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, does anybody need help? Uh, I think that's probably... Oh, actually, you know what? We could probably keep him alive. Um, we don't have anything else really worth picking up just yet. So yeah, we'll do that. Keep him alive. How funny. And then we'll come over here and start walloping. This guy could fly, so... Ooh. Oh, man. I could down him right now, but... Oh. I was, I was gonna say I want to get that card, but... He took it. What a chump. Look at all the abilities these guys get. This is dumb. <laughs> all because I want to keep one alive. Ugh. I'll go do that. Okay. Dunk on him. Dunk on him. Dunk on him. Pia, yeah! Look at this. Pia is the best. Leaders are down, which means the game's over. It doesn't matter how many other mobs are on the field. Ah, this is great. A button. Everything's A button. Let's take a look at what we've collected, though. We've got uh, two mana crystals, two copper wires. These are all just, uh, you know, m uh, mats, crafting mats. Um, uh, on Alina, so we got another talisman. Or we got another uh, got summons, basically. Uh, it's a runa scroll. Da, 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 da. I believe if you, the more you get, I believe it upgrades the... Um, uh, upgrades the previous one. Let's go down here and take a look at some of this stuff. Uh, now we already covered all this stuff in the game itself, so uh, we don't necessarily need to go over all this stuff in individually. You guys get the gist. But that was a lot of fun. Yeah, playing those characters a little bit differently, uh, focusing a bit more on her, like her, her movability and all that. Um, I mean, that was all right. Actually, with her, I think I'll probably stick with the damage because she does do pretty significant damage. But she was never in, under any threat though, which is pretty nice. Uh, her health was pretty high. Traits, this is where, uh, oops, 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 oops. Uh, na na na, summons, uh, eat, upgrade, yeah, that's right, let's take a look at this stuff, eat, this is a fun little game. Alright, here we go. Oh, look at that, oh, it's the best. Come on, yeah. So we're gonna basically pick, oh, there you go. So, I'm not entirely sure how this game works, <laughs> if I'm being honest, um, but, I know that, uh, oh, that was a mistake. Oh, I got them all! Okay, woo! So, uh, so I have everything unlocked, so we can take a look at this here. Uh, so you get to choose one of the things on the left-hand side. So you look at what we have for, like, your bonuses here. So it's, like, fiddleheads, uh, rotted meats, uh, you have sugar, sugar kale, uh, pork, pork. So basically, it's like, if I choose meat, then all the meat stuff, which is all my attack stuff, is going to get a boost. And it's 12% attack, so it says increase the effect. So 12% attack, click on that, now it's 12, plus 12 attack. Oh, dang. Um, so yes, then now I'm basically just going to do a whole lot of damage on my next run. Um, pretty cool. Just a little mini game you can play in between. And now I'm going to go to the next, whatever next thing I do, I'm going to go in there and just wreck everything, which is going to be amazing. Uh, so over here is where you can craft stuff. Uh, mana cycle, don't worry about that. Uh, let's see, Ma Magitech little gloves. Let me see. Oh, so I actually, I can actually craft some stuff now. Oh, there's a lot of stuff I can't, but still, Spirit Stabilizer. I'll go through and read some of this. But, um, Scout Goggles. Okay, so there's not a ton of things, but still. We're going to craft something just to do it. These goggles, or these, uh, let's see, I have need, level 1, 20% XP gain. Oh, yeah, I actually love anything that gives me XP, I'm always all about. Um, let's see, so another 20% XP. Yes, we'll spend everything on that. And then we'll just farm, yeah, we'll just farm just some of these dusty roads or whatever, or, you know, anywhere there's a free battle, or we can do stories. Uh, now, doing the stories, uh, there are some story elements that are all, that are, you know, just like a standard RPG type stories, you know, sprite on one side, sprite on the other, they have a little discussion or whatever. Uh, <laughs> um, and so, and there is an ongoing story that is pretty interesting, a pretty fun little story. Uh, but overall, man, like, this is a pretty solid, this is a couch uh, tactical RPG for sure. For sure. Like, it's right up there with Mario Rabbids and Gears Tactics, you know? Uh, leaning more towards the Mario Rabbids side. So, 
given that it is available on Switch, which means I'm gonna go spend another twenty dollars now. Uh, <laughs> I will, uh, I will probably pick that up on Switch and check it out um, after I'm done with Fell Seal. But yeah, it's it's definitely one of those types of games. I mean, like I said, majority of the buttons I'm hitting is just the A button to just confirm, uh, like I would in a menu. But all of your selections are all, uh, every single one of them are all contextual. Just really, really cool. And this is available all the time, by the way. So if at any point you're just like, well, what does something do? Well, look at this. Bird's eye, enchants, curses, combo, back attack. I didn't even show you guys combos. See that? Or the uh, um, the enchants and curses. Oh, I kind of did, actually. Uh, so, yep. That's it. The game is called Fate Tactics. You could get it on multiple platforms uh, for... $19.99. Actually, I was just thinking, it's like, I wonder if it's available on uh, on mobile because all the buttons are so huge and I don't really see why you would, I mean, it's zoomed in enough. Maybe it's zoomed a little bit more. I don't know. But anyways, very good game. My name is Mike B. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you guys later. Bye.